why did I spend $100 on a silverback, which is one one thousandth of a troy ounce of silver? The answer is because it wasn't one of these, it was a special one. I'll show you that in just a second. Before I do, let me explain what goldbacks are. These came out first, obviously, and one goldback is worth or contains one one thousandth of a troy ounce of gold. They're pretty cool. It's in a bill type of format and they come in different denominations and it is by far the cheapest way to purchase gold because it's in such a small denomination. It's expensive once you consider if you're trying to buy a full ounce of gold, but since it's one one thousandth of an ounce, these cost, you know, three fifty four dollars a, a piece. So as a limited time collectible, the same makers of Goldback came out with a Silverback. Kind of a gimmicky thing. It seems a little ridiculous on its face considering one one thousandth of an ounce of silver is about two cents. However, what makes it unique is one, it's silver. It's cool and if you compare it size-wise to a Goldback, it's considerably bigger <laughs> as you can see here. But they only made a hundred thousand of these and this one here is 39,368 out of a hundred thousand it says limited edition collectible there I mean if you like gold backs you'll like the silver back and have a cool design on it and it's just cool what can I say I don't know <laughs> so I got what I got this one for free when I purchased five ounces of silver from Bullion Max, I bought this one for $10 along with some other silver. This one happens to be 19,564 out of 100,000. So pretty good serial number. But the reason I spent $100 on one one thousandth of an ounce of silver is because one, this is a graded one, but it also has a low serial number or mintage number, whatever. This was guaranteed to be under 1,000, and this one happens to be 663 out of 100,000, so not bad. If It also, if you can notice here, has a purple streak kind of coming through it, as opposed to these ones, which have a, a red streak going on it. Besides that, from everything I can tell, the designs are identical. Um, I couldn't notice any other difference. I might be mistaken on that, but the only thing I believe is different is the color of the streak running through it and the fact that it's graded. So did I waste my money on this? It's very possible. I found the ideas of, of gold backs and silver backs. Just, I just found it to be fascinating and I wanted to get one of these limited edition collectibles. So I have no idea if this was worth the money. Probably not. I mean, if I were to go to try to sell this, no one's going to pay me $100. At least I wouldn't think so right now. But it's just another thing to have and collect. And I can say that I own. So I do own three silverbacks. And one of them's graded. So anyways, I may do a separate video on goldbacks. And how I first heard about them back in 2020 and was fortunate enough to purchase a few of them. So I may uh, go through that and explain what goldbacks are, but these are also very cool. In any case, let me know your thoughts. Did I waste my money on this? It's very possible, but it's just something cool to have. Kind of just like some of the other specialty silver items I have. So anyways, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and take care.